So on our second video on hockey biomechanics, going over each phase of the stride, skating stride, we're going to look at some really specific structures as it relates to the single support stage. I'm gonna get you, or the gliding stage. I'm gonna get you to actually lie on your side, please. So what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna get onto the gluteus maximus. Actually, I'll have you turn on the other side. Okay, just... Now, why are we only going over certain structures during this? Obviously, it's the full bodies involved, but we also have primary activation of particular structures. In this particular stage, in terms of the single support glide, the gluteus maximus and some of the core muscles are really, really important. Okay, okay I'm gonna get on to the foot here. You okay? Yeah. Wonderful. That's a good spot. Thanks for asking. Mm -hmm. So we're talking glute max, glute med, glute minimus. Good. So in terms of the glute, the primary function, function during the stage, during gliding, is to maintain an extended position of the hip. Because your primary hip extensor is the glute max. So let's say we start to get restrictions in this area. I'm just gonna take you a little bit into yeah. circumduction here. Yeah. Okay, not too bad, actually. Pretty good. Good. So if we start to have problems with these muscles, you're actually going to have a problem maintaining hip extension. Good. This will have a huge effect on uh, maintaining your balance. And this will have the overall effect of reducing speed during the uh, glide phase. Excellent. So we're going to get on a few core muscles here next. I'm going to get you to actually have a seat and face over. So what I'm going to do is get on both the erector spinae in the back, but I'm also going to get on the abdominal muscles. Just grab your shoulders, please. Okay, contact I'm making, again, is not a fist. Open hand, take it flat. So a simple exercise, actually, so you can have the ability to do this, is just taking it into this position, bring your hands in, then make a fist. Okay, take it up, down, in, close. So the position is open hand. You okay there, Mickey? Oh, yeah. Good. Just remember that your core muscles, they're the central powerhouse of your body. They give you uh, basically stability throughout the entire body, especially during the glide phase of the hockey stride. A strong core is also essential for transferring power from the lower body to the upper body and vice versa. Okay there? Mm-hmm. This side here. Now, this is the antagonist of the abdominal muscles. So it's really, really important that we release this area here so that we can get proper activation of the abdominal muscles. More there. Good. You okay there? Yeah. And down. Okay, I'm going to get you to lie on your side, facing over, please. So we're going to get on the erectus abdominis muscle now. You okay with me palpating the area? Mm -hmm. Okay, bring the legs up here. And this is going to bring both the arms back and the leg back at the same time. Now, I'm stabilizing the lumbar spine with my knee here. And that's really important because I just have my leg back from here and get on there. This is going to be quite unstable. So stabilize that area. Bring your leg and your arm back. Good. Going superior. Now, during the single support glide phase, the rectus abdominis, abdominis muscle is crucial for flexing the lumbar spine and stabilizing the trunk. You okay there? Yeah. Okay. So I would work down here, take it there, but I'd also go up where the diaphragm is and take it inferior from this point. Take it down, good. Feels quite different when I change vectors, doesn't it? Yes. Okay. All right, one more time. And again, good. Okay, now let's just change our vector a little bit here. 
Take your arm back and bring your leg back. Down. Doing okay there? Oh, yeah. Okay. So I'm more on the obliques now. And in the uh, single support glide phase, the oblique muscles are essential for lateral flexion and rotation of the trunk. Doing okay there? Mm-hmm. So we start to have problems with the uh, some of the core muscles here in terms of imbalances, restrictions. How that's going to affect the single support glide stage is basically you're going to have difficulty in maintaining an upright posture. And you'll find that uh, players that have a weak core, they rely too much on the muscles of the uh, lower extremity for stability, and uh, this can easily lead to an overuse injury and decreased performance. You are okay there? Mm -hmm. All right, good. So as we go through each of these structures, realize this could have a massive effect on the player's performance, but it'll also help to prevent injuries. So let's move on to phase three.